Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today is my WWE Survivor Series predictions. I have my little tablet right here that has all the matches for today. So the first match is the Cruiserweight Championship, which is Brian Kendrick. I don't call him the Brian Kendrick because that's too much. Versus Kalisto. So this is for the Cruiser Cruiserweight Championship. So it's Brian Kendrick from Raw, and it's Kalisto from SmackDown, which is going to be awesome. Because I believe, as though as Kalisto is, and how fast he is, and Brian Kendrick is just, just full of himself. He's just way too much ego there. So I think that Kalisto is going to win because he's going to use his speed, he's going to use his agility, and... Kendrick, if he doesn't run away, which is what he obviously usually does, then please don't be our new Cruiserweight Champion, which is going to be awesome. Okay, next is the Intercontinental Championship. So if you did not see SmackDown and you did not see my SmackDown reactions, oh boy. Um, it was Dolph Ziggler versus The Miz with Maurice, of course, <laughs> for the Intercontinental Championship. And The Miz won because his wife helped him cheat. I get it. So now the pay-per-view event is going to be The Miz versus Sami Zayn. And if you've seen my reactions, you know who I want to win. As soon as that match ended, I said I hope Sami Zayn kicks his ass. Because now I just hate The Miz because he lies, he cheats. Oh my god. Um... So I think Sami Zayn will win because Sami Zayn is quick on his feet. He's very smart, even though a lot of people only give him that credit. But he is very smart. So I think Sami is going to win and bring SmackDown the IC Championship, which is going to be funny. No, Raw is going to bring home the IC Championship. It's going to be hilarious because the Miz is going to win it one night, lose it a few days later, <laughs> and that'll make me very, very happy. Okay. Next is the tag team 10 on 10 match. So for Team Raw, we have the New Day, uh, Gallows and Anderson. I still hate that. Sheamus and Cesaro, and my boys, Enzo and Big Cass. And the Shining Stars. I want to forget them. I really do. And then we have on Team SmackDown. Heath Slater and Rhino, the Usos, American Alpha, the High Bros, and Breeze Go. This is Tyler Breeze and Fandango. Boy. For this, I want Team Raw to win because my boys are on Team Raw, so I want them to win, obviously. Um, I don't know how it's going to go down because it's been so long since a traditional Survivor Series match. Um... But what will happen for the tag teams, if you're not aware, um, they'll go against, it would be team against team. So for the tag teams, if one member of the tag team gets pinned, the other member of that same tag team will be eliminated and walk back. And then you will just have, it's 10 on 10, nine uh, tag teams left. So they'll keep doing that until there's only one tag team left for this match. And I hope it's Team Raw. I think... I really think that Enzo and Cass will probably be the last ones up there because just look at them, seriously. Because Gallows and Anderson has already said they'll stab their own team in the back. So if they don't like the way their team's going, they're probably going to leave. So Okay, now we're going to get to the women's 5-on-5 five -five match. Team Raw has Charlotte, Sasha Banks, Bailey. Nia Jax, and Alicia Fox. And Team SmackDown will have Becky Lynch, Nikki Bella, Alexa Bliss, Naomi, and Carmella. So for this team, it's really hard. Um, but I'm going to say that Team SmackDown is going to get this one. Just based that Team SmackDown can really work together more than Team Raw can. And... When I think who else is going to be out there with Team Raw, because Charlotte is going to have Dana Brooke, of course, because 
that's her little puppy dog right there. So, I think Team SmackDown's going to win that one because Team SmackDown's women have been working together. And also Team SmackDown will have Natalia, which is awesome. Because that's going to even it up just a bit. So then we have the men's five on five. Team Raw has Kevin Owens, Roman Reigns, Chris Jericho, Seth Rollins, and Braun Strowman, who I am scared of to death of him. Versus Team SmackDown, which is AJ Styles, Dean Ambrose, Bray Wyatt, Randy Orton, and Shane McMahon, and Ellsworth as the mascot. That could be good or bad. I don't know. Um, but based on what happened on SmackDown, I think Team SmackDown's going to win that. Because if they don't, they have to go face another digger, which is not a good idea at all. So I think Team SmackDown has more to lose going into this than Raw does at this point. Even though Stephanie has put Team Raw jobs on the line, which I don't think is cool at all. Don't. So I think even in spite of that little thing, Team SmackDown's going to win. So then we hopefully... This is the main event. I hope this is the main event. It is Brock Lesnar versus Goldberg. Um, after what I saw on Raw, and I put out my Raw predictions as well, what I saw on Raw is that when Goldberg knocked out the security, basically, <laughs> um, Brock had a chance to go in the match, and, and he didn't. He, he just left. He ran away like a little coward. Um, so I think that Brock is questioning himself coming to this match. It's been 12 years since we've seen Goldberg. So I think I think Brock is kind of questioning himself. So that's why I think Goldberg's going to win because Goldberg is mad as hell. Because not only did Brock talk about Goldberg's family, Paul Heyman did too. Which just pissed him off. I keep telling y'all, don't bring the family into it. Because it's going to get them angry. And even Goldberg said the way he was going to whip his ass before means nothing to the way he's going to whip his ass now. Because you talked about the man's wife and son. You shouldn't have done that. Because now you're going to pay for it. And I want Goldberg to win because I really like Goldberg and I really don't care much for Brock at this point. Um, because of the, yeah, because the Undertaker streak for once, I thought they were going to leave the Undertaker streak alone. I would have been happy with that. I would have. Um, and then with Randy, opening him, making him bleed out like crazy. Just hit him on the forehead with your elbow so many times I you make him bleed crazy. It's like there's a puddle of blood around his head. That's how bad it was. So I think that Goldberg has a lot going on right now because one, he's mad at hell as Brock Lesnar for talking about his family. And Brock sent out a challenge. So Goldberg's not gonna turn that down. So I think Goldberg's going to win. Goldberg has more. I think Goldberg has more to lose than Brock does. Because Brock just shows up every so often. Um, so that's what I think. So these are my predictions. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you did not, give it a thumbs down. Please like, share, and subscribe for more. And tomorrow I will tell you what happened if you do not have the network. And if you don't have the network, you can still watch the pre-show. Which starts at 5 o'clock today. Very early. Um, so the pre-show starts at 5. I, let me check. I have the network on my tablet here. So I know the pre-show starts at 5. And I think, I think that the pay-per-view starts at 8. So it's about like a two-hour pre-show here. Um, let's look here. Okay. So we're going to jump to the dang. Okay, so I'm looking here, so yeah, the Survivor Series kickoff show starts at 5 o'clock, 
and the pay-per-view starts at seven o'clock. Who is on now? So the pre-show is about two hours long. So if you want to watch the pre-show and you don't have the network, you can still watch it. You just can't watch the pay-per-view, sadly. I know the struggle. I went through it. And then the Survivor Series pay-per-view starts from 7 to 11. That's going to be interesting. And I will let you guys know tomorrow what happened. Everything. Because I type it all down as the match goes. So that's my thing. <laughs> So please come back tomorrow to see what happened in case you do not have the uh, network or you couldn't afford to get it through your cable provider. So please come back because I do this every month, sometimes twice a month when it's just a Raw only and a SmackDown only pay-per-view. That's weird to me, so I'm not used to that. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. I love you guys so freaking much. And I'll see you tomorrow for the WWE Survivor Series results. Um, the pre-show matches were in here. So if there are any pre-show matches, I'll tell you about them tomorrow. This will be out around 3 a.m. Monday morning. So you don't want to miss it. See you then.